Harris County Sheriff Ed Gonzalez. I'm uh, joined here with colleagues with the Harris County Sheriff's Office as well as uh, other uh, counterparts with the Houston Police Department. We're out here today investigating an officer-involved shooting. Uh, today at approximately 12.53, close to 1 p.m., one of our deputies on view uh, what appeared to be a non-family disturbance occurring uh, near the intersection of Greens Road and Imperial Valley. It appeared that two males were having a verbal altercation near a vehicle and it looked to be uh, possibly a physical altercation. So the deputy uh, parked his vehicle, started taking control of the situation at that point, giving some verbal commands. Uh, it appeared that the suspect was acting erratic uh, in an aggressive manner. The deputy began giving verbal commands, uh, clearly dressed in a police uniform, and uh, the male continued to approach in an aggressive manner. Uh, the deputy attempted to retreat, and uh, it's preliminary, but our information is that he was trying to even get behind his vehicle. The male continued to advance towards him. Uh, the deputy uh, ended up retrieving his pistol and firing one time, is my understanding. Uh, the male sustained a single gunshot wound. Uh, he has since been transported to the hospital where he was pronounced dead at the scene. Uh, I want to make it very clear that with any officer involved shooting, there's always uh, several parallel investigations going on. On this one, since it occurred in the jurisdiction of the Houston Police Department, they will be uh, the lead investigators on the scene. Uh, so they're out here now. We'll be uh, also doing our own parallel uh, investigation behind them. And then the district attorney's office is also on the scene. They'll be conducting their own independent investigation. And the, uh, the medical examiner's office also conducts their investigation. So uh, we'll be thorough. Uh, we'll be transparent as well. And uh, we want to make sure that we get all the facts. Again, it's preliminary because it's still an active uh, 16 out here that we're investigating. Uh, but that's the information we have. And uh, just a closing thought, our condolences go to the family of this individual. Obviously, uh, they're, they're someone's loved one. These situations are always difficult. And so the main thing we could do is to make sure we get the facts and that we're thorough and transparent. And also, again, a reminder of how quickly things could escalate uh, in these situations. Our, our deputies uh, work in a very difficult environment where they have to make split second decisions to protect their lives as well. So uh, any questions? Do we have an age on the I do not have an age on the Where did it start? Was it inside? A vehicle or were they outside? Uh, it seemed uh, that, that the deputy all viewed something here at the corner at the intersection where his vehicle's parked. So, uh, based on the preliminary information, some of the evidence that I'm seeing it occurred right here uh, near the uh, entrance to the intersection right there. Uh, we, we were also getting some reports that this male be, may be known in the area and possibly even today uh, we may have gotten some information where he was acting in an aggressive manner in some of the adjacent properties out here. So we'll be investigating that as well to see what may have been going on. Do you think he was upset by someone or maybe under the influence or something? Uh, not sure all that. The, the, if, if, if he was under the influence of anything, all that will be determined by the medical examiner who talks to college. And then uh, the rest obviously will be part of our investigation to see what uh, what led up to this, what was the state of mind, what was going on out here. And it started just with two men getting into a fight? Is that what That's what uh, the early information we're receiving is the deputy on view would appear to be a, lot, uh, a male that may have been banging on a vehicle at the intersection and that was leading to a uh, perhaps a, it was started maybe as a verbal altercation leading to a physical altercation. And so that's what we're going to determine. We'll do a thorough investigation to try to answer all those questions. Did it appear that there was any kid, kid involved? We were hearing a kid may have been involved. Not that we know, but if anybody has information, we asked them to please call the Houston Police Department uh, to uh, uh, give information if they have any details on anybody else that may have seen something that could be important to this investigation. Was your, officer, was your deputy just passing through the area and saw the incident taking place? Or uh, was you dispatched to it? Not dispatched. It's my understanding that he on view the, the situation at approximately 12.53 to be exact. And uh, that's when everything went down. We don't know if there were prior calls. I'm, I'm told that there may have been some other activity happening in the area, but I don't know if those were actual calls for service that we received before and, and it may have been the same individual or not. I'm not sure. Thank you.